Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's task is to replace the brake pads on my 2006 Ducati Monster 620. For that, you'll just need a few basic things. Um, you will need some uh, brake cleaner to clean your whole caliper. You will need, obviously, new brake pads, which I lovely got on Amazon. You will need some lube for the actual brake pads, and you will see when I apply it. You will also need some pliers to pull out the pin and the clip. You will need a six millimeter um, little Allen key to take off the caliper. And I'm just showing this here to represent the tool, the ratchet tool that I will be using. One other thing that I will, I will be using is some rubber gloves. And you know, I normally just work on my hands, but with this, you don't want to cross contaminate and First things first, I'm using a six millimeter uh, socket thing to loosen up and take out these nuts right here, which will free up the caliper. Boom. I'm gonna take this one. It's a little bit inconvenient here because of my uh, exhaust being in the way, but we'll make it work. There we go. And I presume I can take them out by hand, just like so. Nice. One very important thing uh, throughout this whole uh, brake pad replacement process is to not touch the rear brake. Uh, as soon as you start the process, just forget about this lever. You don't want to, because once you uh, right now it wouldn't be a big deal, but once you remove the pads um, from the caliper, you can, if you push this, uh, you could seize up the caliper, which will turn into a pain in the butt and a replacement of that caliper or rebuild, which you definitely don't want to do. So uh, now that we started working on a brake, we're not messing with the brake pedal. So let's pull this thing off. brake pad wear is very uneven because uh, I believe my wheel was not straight but anyway let's take out the pin and take out the caliper use a screwdriver to kind of pop it open There we go. You pull it off. This tiny little pin can be taken by the wind, so be careful not to lose it. The next step is to push out the pin. For this, uh, you don't want to manhandle the caliper because it's all attached here too much. We got a little bit of a hammer going. And let's see if we can get that. Get the pin out, and we did. So, with the help of a hammer, I was able to just gently tap this pin out. There we go. Easy. Boom. The pin is out. Beautiful. So, unfortunately, the brake pad fell right out, but it's okay. This one seems to be fused onto the damn so this is the clip which also comes out put it next to the pin and this is one of the brake pads but the other one seems to be stuck boom so this one is pushed all the way back this one not so much but I should be able to push it in with a little bit of work. So once you remove the pads, next step is to take some of your brake parts cleaner and give everything a good clean. So wait, take it. Oh, watch out for that. Um, 
and then you kind of just want to spray spray the thing down without causing too much mess definitely want to clean it up a bit Wipe it down, make it nice. Damn, I'm making a mess, and I'm probably not supposed to get this all over uh, the wheel, but it's okay. At this point, you can take your old pads, which are not even that worn out, to be honest with you, just seized, no idea why. I'm guessing because of salt, bizarre. But look, it literally just got stuck in there. Anywho, you also want to give uh, your pin and the clamp a little bit of a clean as well. Nothing wrong with that. The next step is to apply some brake lube to your brake pads. Boom. And this is the brand that I'm using. So the reason why you apply some of this to the brake pads is to quiet them down to make sure everything operates nice and smooth but also to quiet them down and it's crucial it should go without saying but it's crucial that the grease goes on the back and not on the actual material of the brake shoe you put grease on the back and you also will grease the pin just like this so you don't need very much just take a little bit of it a little tiny bit and just apply some here here and on the, the little pin and the reason why I'm wearing these gloves is so I don't get it all over the other stuff so after I apply it I can just take off the gloves and carry on and this looks like a little too much grease so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and just up and down a bit Wipe them down a bit. You don't want too much. That's a perfect amount. So, at this point, you're ready to put the caliper to uh, put the brake pads back into the bike. So, remove your gloves. Bush. So now that you're ready to put your brake pads back into your caliper, you take the one that's going to face the outside and your pin. So, what you do is. You slide the brake pad through and put in the pin, just like so. At which point, you take your clip and you put it underneath. Put the clip in just like that making sure the pad is straight and the caliper and not crooked just like so there we go beautiful and the pin is in so now is when you put in your second pad just like so slide it up through just like that slide it up put this over the disc so the way there's enough gap and then you just push the pin through and with any luck it goes through you can push it through by hand for the most part at this point you just need to push the pin to the end so once the pin is in, um, what you do is you take your little clip, which I stored on a piece of uh, tape to make sure I don't lose it, and you slide it back on. You 
put it back on over the little slit on the back of the pin just like so boom that is beautiful that is on so at this point once the little clip is on and it's on really well you simply take your six millimeter hex bolts nuts screws whatever the hell you call these and guide them in by hand one and then the other and once they're in by hand you take your trusty little wrench and give them a nice tight thingy i do not have the torque for these bolts so i'm going by nice and snug which is a shame because i'm doing this using a torque wrench and i could be torquing this but boom all good so at this point you take the bike out for a test ride and listen for noises make sure everything is okay just go around the block don't go fast you know make sure the brake works but i believe everything should be okay so thank you for watching bye bye now that everything has been assembled uh this is what the caliper looks like you can see two fresh brake pads the clip is in the pin is in everything is tight we're good to go